What's happening, legends? Very exciting day today. It is day one of the gym fit out, and who better to do it than Sydney Gym <laughs> Fit Out Co? It makes sense, right? It's all in the name, baby. So day one, we're getting all the flooring done, sled tracks done, rubber mats done. Day one? Yep. What is the thing that you think is gonna be the toughest part about this fit out? Probably the cable machines. Yep. I think that'll be a bit difficult putting them together, but I'm sure we'll work it out. I've got a good team here with me today, so we'll um, we'll take care of it, don't worry. Nice. <laughs> now, second of all, what are you most excited about this, this job? I'm excited to see the flooring go down. Six tracks next to each other and then the rubber tiles. It's, um, yeah, that stuff makes me excited. It's very good. <sighs> yeah, I fucked up. So we've had some issues. So uh, according to the design plan, our rigs we're gonna finish roughly where they are now. And we're gonna have the sled tracks along here. And they we're gonna finish roughly where they are now. Issue is the rigs are a little bit bigger than they were drawn. So what we came to after they'd already been drilled in and after the sled track had already been put down, is that we had to rip up the sled track, take off the two last rigs, and they're both gonna come down into this section now. The whole sled track now is gonna be repositioned, so it'll be just in front of the, the window. So first, the treadmills are gonna stay in the same spot. So the, the six treadmills will still go all the way across, but then we're gonna put the sled track behind that. The storage unit will still be able to go underneath that TV over there and our dumbbells are now gonna be going into this section here, which is really cool because it looks like we actually meant that to happen. We didn't, so yeah. Now, it just shifts things around for our programming as well. So originally how all of our programming would work would be the racks, the tracks, and the main arena, but now it just goes the racks, main arena, tracks. Doesn't really flow as good, does it? Maybe we'll go the other way. Racks, tracks, and then into main arena. We're back. So now what we're gonna do, because it, it wasn't the gym equipment installing guys problem, it was my fault. I should have looked over the plans better. We're going to change that all around and I'm gonna bring in um, as many people as I can next Wednesday, the 27th, and we're gonna get through all the stuff that the, the installer guys would have done, but I'll bring my mates in to, to get all the ergs and the easy stuff done. Mind you, I tried to do a bike erg once, it took me two hours and it was broken within two or three days. So I will be staying away from the bike ergs, you're welcome. Myself and Taka, we will be on cleaning and moving duties because we're both hopeless. Uh, you'll see that next week as well. But then I'll get all the chippy boys to come in. We're gonna move all this stuff around, help the installer guys to get back on track. As of Wednesday, we're gonna try and get as much of this equipment done. I've got a full list and we'll have the goal of trying to get all the, all the cardio machine done, flooring completely done, all the sled tracks completely done. And as well, uh, as you're gonna see in a second, we're gonna move the PT studio around as well. Once again, I fucked up. So we're gonna move that, that room as well on Wednesday. So huge day next week. It's gonna be a bit of catching up, and, but if we can get through it, all of it, we'll also get us in front by a couple of days as well. And every day, every minute counts at the moment. So it's been a rough week, but we've come to, we came to the decision. I was very fortunate actually, Nate Dog, cousin behind the, the camera right now. Once we got it all put in, on the Wednesday afternoon, I spoke to Nate on the Thursday morning and I was actually down the coast. And he goes, look, I'm just gonna tell you what I think, take it or leave it. And he told me his opinion of where we should be putting everything. And I was, as I was down the coast, I had a blue texter and it was my son's texter and it smelled like blueberries, I don't know why, but anyways. And I drew up, what, what he was telling me on the phone, I drew it up and I looked at it, I went, that layout can work because once we change the rigs, it changes everything. It changes how we program things, obviously, but then also it changes like how the layout works and flows. So we had to check that, you know, where are the mirrors going to go? Where's the story drag's going to go? And as we went through it, it would have been about, what do you reckon, Nate, about 30 minute combo? Yeah. yeah, there we go. He's back. It would have been about a 30 minute convo. And then so him and Patty came down and met at 9.15. And what we did, we FaceTimed. And I went through with Pat, I said, Pat, run me through 
how it will work and the functionality of it. So then he run me through, all right, if we were gonna do X program, this is how it works. I'm like, perfect, pass me on to Nate. Nate came on, aesthetically, Nate. How will it look, how will it feel? Yep, tick, tick, tick. And then last but not least, Gav, the installer, get him on the phone, go, all right, can we do it? How's it gonna be done? Can it be done? Tick, tick, tick. So we made the decision there on, on, in the phone call and over FaceTime, thank God for technology. I didn't have to come home. And we made that decision and now we're implementing it straight away. So yeah, we had a problem. We came up with a solution. We made the decision. And now it's just a full steam ahead, Wednesday morning. Let's go. All right, guys. Let's finish this for today. 10.13. Me and Nate were coming down here just to film a wrap up for the doco for the week. And now it looks like we're going to have to change the whole PT studio as well. We've found a better way to lay this out. I know it's the better way to do it, so it's got to be done. <sighs> more time, more money. Yes. <laughs> Beauty. All right. It's a great time to do it too. What is it? December the 23rd, two days before Christmas. No one's really working for the next two weeks. We'll do it, but. Me and Nate are just going to figure it out, aren't we, Cuzzy? That's, he said yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. All right, let's plan this out. So what we're going to do is move those rigs, these rigs here, as you can see, quite hindered by these poles. Now, on the plans, you can't see the poles, so it all looks good. On according to the floor plans, but now that the poles are in, it <coughs> makes a big difference. So, plan is move these rigs over to the other side. Unfortunately, from doing that, we will lose the sled track, but we'll gain more space either side. I'll have to get this TV put onto that wall over there. The mirrors that were going on there, we'll just keep them the same size, but they'll now go onto that wall over there. Once we do that, the rigs will be much easier to, they'll be much more functional. That's the better way to put it. They'll be much more functional either side. We'll bring them down a little bit. We'll create a little bit more space down in this corner where we'll put all of our racks. So we'll have our dumbbell racks, which is just those two there, and then our kettlebell racks, which will go across there. So it'll be a nice little area for the dumbbells. Then all of our plate loaded and pin loaded machines will go all around here. So I have all that space. It sounds so good in theory. There's so much work to do. So on top of that, and like I said at the start of this documentary, I was gonna document the good, but more importantly, the bad. So all those other business owners that are going out and then have these things happen to them as well, like you can relate, you can understand, you know that these things just happen and you just gotta roll with the punches. So on top of getting the floor plan wrong, beauty, uh, we had excessive rain on the Tuesday night. Now we've had a few minor leaks all the way through, which we've been working through with the landlord. But as of Tuesday night, we had a lot of rain and there was multiple leaks, but there was one really bad leak that decided to not only come through in an abundance, but it came right on top of a main switchboard. Yep, electricity and water. Not a good combination, so everyone knows. Not a great combination. So we had no power for that whole side of the factory all of Wednesday. We had to get onto the landlord who had to need to get onto the roofer to come out first thing Thursday morning, come up with a solution. And thank you to the landlord. He has agreed to redo the whole roof so we won't have any of these issues, but it also puts more pressure on our timeline. But I back us. I back us to get it done. So it's been an extremely stressful week. But in saying that, there's been a lot of good things that have happened. You'll see soon all of the equipment arrive where there was a moment there where we weren't sure if we we're gonna get all the equipment, but fortunately it arrived on time and it got let go out of the, the ports on time as well, which they're worried about. 
and we've got all the equipment. So there was a stage there where we're only getting, you know, two thirds and we're gonna have to wait for the last though. But fortunately enough, we got everything here. We've also had a lot of the electrical get done. So all the TVs are being put up now, the speakers being put up now as well, all throughout. Um, all the joinery. So all the joinery has been finished off now. We'll be able to go through and see that. The bathroom's looking fantastic. Our staff room's looking great now with the, the new storage space that we've got there. The podcast studio's got its wall. Uh, the, the noise cancelling wall, I think that's what it is. And then the tiling is all getting completed inside the pool room as well, as well as the tiles along the top where the walkway is and the saunas, all three saunas now, the walls and the roof is being done. Jeff, you're taking a bit of time though. Pick up your speed, buddy. And then once they get done, that whole section will be finished down there as well. So. That, look, that part down there looks really, really beautiful. Can't wait for you guys to see that. Next week on Wednesday, like I said, we're gonna be doing the big, we're gonna get all the equipment together, but also we're gonna get the cleaners to come through and they're gonna start cleaning out front of house and upstairs as well. So all of it starts to look sparkling and clean. Can't wait. Also guys, this is the most important part of the whole gym, right? Coffee is life. That's been delivered, it is custom made. It's got the, the nice white look. We've got the matching brownie caramel logo that goes across there as well. We're gonna get this plumbed in next week. And we've got some more things here from the joiners as well. Sinks going in, still debating. Actually, you guys might be able to let me know. We wanted the sparkling water tap upstairs in the staff room, but Chloe reckons it should be down here for the members. What do you guys reckon? Should we get the sparkling or should the members get it? You tell me, comment below, do something, I don't know, message me, do whatever you need to do. What else? Booth, that got done, didn't it? All the booth just got all done as well, so this is gonna be a nice spot. We're gonna have some tables, some little tables that come up through here. The only small ones, you can hang out before or after class. You better sit here, have your coffee, kick back, enjoy the moment, and just be, just have the best time of your life. Really? And then, on top of the booth, guys, we've also got all the signs put up around the place so you guys know exactly where to go. Check it out. We've got the Creation Main Arena written up there, but everywhere you go, we'll, it will show you what that room is and where you need to go with the little arrows as well, because we're, we're just thoughtful like that. Yak Electrical has been hard at it all week as well. All the lighting has been put through. So these beautiful lights that Ben Vitale has got up for us, they've all been installed all the way through. So all the hallways, you can see through there, all have the same lights as well. The Yak Electrical on fire, Gym Master. So how this is gonna work guys, if you have a recovery membership, you're gonna just get your phone out, beep, door will open. Once the door opens, Relaxation, ready to rock and roll. And then also we've had Riley's come through, installed all the sheer curtains. Now, how this little area will work, say you come in with a friend, you gotta knock this back, have a chin wag, have a good combo. But if you come in here, you wanna just a bit of time to yourself, lock yourself in, still get that natural light through, but it's a little bit more private in here as well. So you've got two options there, that's gonna be really nice. Plus upstairs, they've put the sheer curtains through the office and outside we've got the awnings that have been put in across the front door as well. So it's all really starting to come together. Thank you very much, Riley's, appreciate it. My cousins have been hard at it this week. They've been smashing out all these beautiful green tiles. Uh, previously, all that had been done was just the little section inside for the showers. But as you can see all the way around me, they've done the green tiles. They're gonna finish this last part off. And they've also got this, these floor tiles in as well for the walkway. Looking spectacular. Very grippy too. Very important around water. So as you guys can see, all the sauna walls and roof has been completed. I was told that the benches are gonna be done. They're gonna just get dropped in as well. So we're gonna have, these two are gonna be the exact same, but this one in this room here is gonna have like a little bit of a bed in there as well. So it's gonna be nice and cozy in here, but also nice and spacious for everyone when they come in. They're big, they're really big. I was in a sauna on the weekend and this is probably bigger than that one I was in. So. Looking forward for the, when these get done. 
It smells really nice too. Like I said, guys, all the joinery has been finished off now. So even our all the boys, we we don't deserve these mirrors. They're way too good for us. But you know, there's some pretty boys out there that might need it. We've got all the benches put in. We've got storage too for the lads. I didn't even know that was going to be there actually. How good. Key lock too, just in case. All right, finally guys, we got the signings done as well. Now, we went quite minimal with our reborn signings, that is, for the hub. Now, at the front, we got the big reborn that will be at the top of the roof, which will be really easy to see when you're driving up the street. And then also at the back, we've got an even bigger reborn that's on the back, so you can see that when you're running along the track. Outside of that, we're not doing too much reborn signings. We're keeping everything quite minimalistic. In the actual gym, we've only got the reborn signs on the floor in here and in the refresh area as well. Other than that, there's only a few quotes that are going up around the gym, but they're all, once again, quite small and minimalistic as well to keep it nice and clean and give that look where it's gonna be very smick. Oh, one more signage that I almost forgot is on top of the beam that we've got in here as well. We've got a nice big black beam. It's got a nice white reborn, really clean, really simple and it looks fantastic as well. So that is a wrap up of one of the most chaotic, hectic, decision-making weeks of the hub's history so far. But like I said, we had problems, we came up with solutions, we made decisions, and now we're actioning them. Let's go. Oh man, I'm proud of you. What a day. Jenny made his rep team. I'm getting filmed, Jetty. Beauty, you got me on camera crying again. I'm so proud of you, Jetty. That is amazing. Well done. I'm Thank so you. proud. I was proud of you for even just trying out for the team, then you made the rep team. Yeah. Well done, Bella. Anything you want to say to the camera before you're famous? No. <laughs> well done, brother. Thank you for the call. Okay. I love you I so guess, much. I guess I, um, I got these boots. Oh, they're hectic. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go get you. A no they're mm -hmm. really cool too. They're new. Yeah. Are they the Mercurials too? Nice, good selection, whoever got them. Well done, brother. So proud of you. you. I love you, bro. Now go and call oh, Ace you. and Chloe. They're gonna be even more proud than I am. Chloe's definitely crying. All right, brother, love you. Too. See you, man. Bye. See ya. Oh, that tops off a, a tough week. So my my youngest, I'm against this, by the way, just so we get, get that part out of the way. He's only six and they tried out for a rep team, but he's the really confident one, has no, he's got no fear. My eldest, Jet, he's really shy and he's quite nervous and he also tried out for his age group. Ace tried out, made the team. Jet tried out last week and we hadn't heard anything, so we weren't too sure. But at the start of this year, he tried out for his school team and didn't make it and got really, really upset. And it was just his school team. And then he tried out on the weekend and he just got the phone call. My boy made reps. <laughs> yes, love that. And it's not that he made reps, it's that he actually, he tried something and he gave it a red hot crack and he's been rewarded for that. That's the part. I don't really care about the whole reps thing. I actually d disagree with kids playing reps that young, but that's an argument and a discussion for another day. But I'm just so proud of him for, for giving it a red hot go and he made it. What a legend. Yes. Oh, shit. What an emotional roller coaster. Wow. Oh, how good. That, that kind of moment makes all those hard things that we were just talking about in the documentary and makes it so minimal mm. when you really just put time. It. Time, it's just time. Time. It's time, time and money. Time and money. But like that moment there means more than anything that's happening here. Man, I'm happy. I wish I was with Chloe right now so she could, I could see her reaction too. And Ace is, they get me ecstatic. What a week it's been. What a way to wrap that up. Hey, that's the documentary. This is raw, authentic. Nate's got me on camera crying again. Shit. How good. Beautiful morning. Get a summer morning, baby.